Hello, my friends. So you want to keep your crypto secure, but you also want to use a wallet that is convenient to interact with DeFi protocols and things like that. And sometimes using a hardware wallet like the ones that we see here, a Ledger Nano X, the Nano X or the Trezor Model T, which I made already videos in the past, sometimes connect your MetaMask with this wallet and interact with DeFi protocols is not very convenient and you need to connect a cord or connect USB and Bluetooth and all this stuff. What if I tell you that there is a wallet that is totally air-gapped? Okay, no Bluetooth, no cords, no nothing, super secure, and it's officially supported by MetaMask Mobile. Yes, the name of this wallet is the Keystone Wallet. No, this is not a mobile phone. It looks like a mobile phone, but it's not a mobile phone. This is the Keystone Wallet. And in this video, basically, I'm going to tell you about the Keystone Wallet and why I think it's secure. Well, the main thing why I think this wallet is secure is first, it's approved by MetaMask. If MetaMask approves a wallet as their official wallet to connect with MetaMask mobile, so the MetaMask wallet that you have in your mobile phone, I guess it's secure, right? Second, they have very good security features. You can check the link in the description below where I write an article about the different security features of this wallet. And also, third, the most important is the totally air-gapped wallet. So there is no way of connecting this wallet to the internet, no way to connect it Bluetooth, no way to connect USB. So I guess there is no way for hackers to attack this wallet. And that's why I really like it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to interact with DeFi protocols, how to connect it to the MetaMask mobile. And after that, we will use Uniswap to make a transaction and it's basically it's so so convenient when compared to other wallets that it, I'm, I'm really blown away with this wallet okay before showing how the wallet works so this wallet is compatible with metamask kepler wallet air connect Soulflare for solana sender wallet and xrp toolkit and many others and they have also an inbuilt wallet where you can send bitcoin ease bitcoin cash dash dot ltc Tron and XRP and many other tokens and the respective tokens, of course, like there are thousands of tokens that are ERC20 tokens or NFTs and all this, those things. And you can all keep them secure with this hardware wallet, with this cold storage wallet. This cold storage wallet has also the fingerprint, so you can unlock the wallet with your fingerprint which, as far as I know, is the only wallet that I ever trusted that has this uh, feature. It's a touchscreen wallet fully offline i really like the fact that you don't connect it at all to other mobile devices and make it almost pretty much impossible i'll say to be attacked by a hacker it's compatible with over a thousand different cryptocurrencies and it has a self distress mechanism meaning that basically if anyone tries to open this wallet it will explode boom no, no i was kidding of course it will not explode but it has some kind of self distress mechanism well where if anyone tries to open the wallet it will automatically erase all the data from the wallet how cool is that i think it's pretty pretty cool Keystone Pro price tag is 169 USD. I think if you have a significant amount of crypto, it's definitely worth to spend money to keep your crypto secure. And uh, so far, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this wallet. By the way, I'm not trying to sell you anything. There is no affiliate links and uh, there is no link in the description below where you can buy the wallets uh, and I receive a portion. So I'm really not selling anything. I'm just telling you this because... I like the product. By the way, I also got the Keystone Tablet Plus to keep the private keys, but I will make a separate video talking about this. So without further ado, let's go and check the wallet. All right, so here is our Keystone wallet. As you can see, it can fit in the palm of my hand. And it basically has a camera to scan the QR codes, the fingerprint sensor, the port to connect the SD card. You need to use this one in order to upgrade the firmware, but it's very easy and it's one time you need to upgrade. Have a turn, the button to turn on and you have the battery. The battery has this very cool magnet that you basically connect like this. To charge the battery, you connect here to this uh, USB type C. And as you can see, the Keystone wallet doesn't have any USB ports or anything that you connect a cord. 
doesn't have Bluetooth, doesn't have Wi-Fi. So it's a fully air gapped wallet and it's the only wallet that is officially compatible with MetaMask. So now what I want to show you is how easy it is to use your Keystone wallet with MetaMask Mobile. As I told you before, this is pretty much the only wallet that is supported by uh, MetaMask for mobile. Actually, you can check here if you connect, uh, if you click connect to a hardware wallet, the only suggestion here is the uh, Keystone. Unlock your Keystone, Keystone tutorial. Uh, we have already connected our Keystone to MetaMask. And basically what I'm going to do is to make a transaction. All right, so to show you how the Keystone wallet works, I'm basically going to send some Matic to myself, to my own address. So I'm going to copy here my address. I'm going to click send on my MetaMask mobile. I'm going to paste my own address. I know it's a bit silly to send some Matic to myself, but I just want to show you basically how to interact between the Keystone wallet and MetaMask Mobile. And basically the keys are in your Keystone wallet. They never leave the Keystone wallet and you are going to do everything with key QR codes. So now I'm going to confirm here the transaction, confirm with Keystone and the MetaMask wallet is going to generate this QR code, which we need to scan with the Keystone wallet. So I need now to verify with my fingerprint. So I'm going to press here my finger, unlock the wallet. Now I need to click software wallet, select MetaMask. And I have here my account that corresponds to this account that I have here. So it's very, very simple. Click scan, I scan this QR code. I have the details of the transaction. I'm going to send one uh, Matic from this address to the same address, basically. I'm going to click sign. I need to insert my password. Give me just a second. And as soon as I insert the password, it's going to generate another QR code, which is the signature. So I need now to click on my MetaMask Get Signature. And I'm going to scan this QR code. And transaction is done. Transaction submitted, waiting for confirmation. So if we now click here to see the transactions, I have here one confirmed transaction sent to myself, one Matic. Okay, so now you see that it's very, very easy in these to uh, send and receive transactions. But what I want to show you is how to interact with DeFi protocols from your MetaMask wallet, MetaMask mobile with the Keystone. I think that's one of the magics of this wallet is the fact that you can on the go, you just bring these two devices with you and from anywhere in the world, or if you are commuting or you are at work and you don't have, you know, your, your laptop to connect like a, a ledger or something like that, no worries because this wallet connects very seamlessly to your MetaMask mobile and you can interact with DeFi protocols. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to show you how to use a DeFi protocol using your MetaMask mobile securely with the Keystone wallet, we can just basically go here and click browser. You know, the MetaMask wallet has an inbuilt browser. So let's go ahead and uh, use a DeFi protocol with MetaMask mobile and the Keystone hardware wallet to keep our private key secure. So let's go ahead and, and try a DEX, a decentralized exchange. We could go to one inch and have many others, but let's go ahead with Uniswap, which is the most well-known DEX decentralized exchange. And now we go ahead here and connect the wallet, but first I'm going just to switch it here to Polygon because uh, we want to try with some Polygon. Connect wallet, yes, connect MetaMask, Confirm, connect. Okay, and now we want to swap, let's say uh, 10 Matic for, for what? What's your suggestion? Let's exchange 10 Matic for DAI, the stablecoin, okay? So this is going to give us 15 DAI USD stablecoin. So let's go ahead and click swap. You confirm, everything is correct, confirm swap. And let's go and click confirm. And now we need to scan this QR code with our keystone. So I'm going to unlock the wallet with my finger and open 
the QR code and scan this QR code. Okay, we see here the transaction, the details. Let's go ahead and click sign. I'm going to put my password and click confirm. So now this is basically the signature that I need to scan with the MetaMask Cloud. So I'm going to click here, get signature, scan this, transaction submitted, and it's done. So now I'm going to click here, transaction completed. So now I'm going to click here, add DAI to add it to my wallet. And as you can see here, it's already saying that I have 16 DAI in my wallet. So how cool is this? It's super, super easy. So anytime you want, you can be anywhere in the world and you basically use the your, your hardware wallet. You can be anywhere in the world. You can be traveling or anything and you need to have access to your DeFi applications. This is really the ideal way, Keystone with your MetaMask Mobile. So we have here 16 DAI. So pretty much all the DeFi protocols Aave Compound Curve, DeFi Saver, MakerDAO, many, many others. You can use it directly from your MetaMask wallet and use the Keystone wallet to keep your private key secure. So basically to do any transactions like scan, scan, done. It takes like 15 seconds and you are secure. Once you finish transacting, you just turn off your wallet and uh, that's pretty much it. You can remove the battery, you can leave it on. But anyway, it really needs your fingerprint and password to be able to use and it needs to be paired with your wallet. So this is pretty much how it works. And this is how I like to keep my crypto secure using the mobile uh, version of MetaMask and the Keystone wallet. All right, guys, so we have tested one more hardware wallet. After testing so many hardware wallets, I guess you know enough how to keep your crypto secure. Please let me know in the comment section if you are already using the Keystone Pro or if you are thinking about using or buying the Keystone Pro and let me know what are your main concerns when choosing a hardware wallet. I would love to learn more about it and probably I can make a video about it. And by the way, if you think this video was useful, please like and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss future videos. And as always, I'll see you next time.